Aaron Murphy here with Genting Casino, Coventry Blaze head coach Paul Thompson. And Paul, I mean, 4-2 loss to a short bench Belfast Giants, but I just talked to Peter Hirsch. I think in the first and third period, you guys had them on the ropes, so to speak. It was just, you know, their specialty teams were, were big in that second period, and that was the, the difference in the game. Well, I, I think at times we think we're a little bit better than what we are offensively, and uh, we gamble. And on the power play, you know, we give up another shorty. We know they come up the ice hard with two guys. Uh, our puck management was was not poor. It uh, was poor, sorry, on a power play tonight. And uh, But you know what? I, I'll break the video down, and we'll have more. We'll have had more scoring chances on our five power plays than they had on theirs today. They scored one off theirs. We didn't score off ours. And we had some good opportunities. We had some good opportunities five on five. But you know what, we can't have a power play and every time I'm on there, I'm petrified we're going to give up a short-handed goal because we're not reading the game, you know, our top players are pinching down, our guys off the wall aren't coming hard back. You know, when you lose puck possession against a team that sends two guys up the ice, you've got to outwork them and you've got to outman them and outnumber them. And, uh, you know, great first period but we, and, and I think we outchanced them three to one first period but we're not burying we got to execute. Simple as that. We've got to execute. And, uh, you know, we can't rely on, on Henrik and, 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 and Goose. Like, we need a little bit more from other guys here, you know, because we are creating the chances. But, you know, they've come in. They've, uh, they've done a good job in, in, a, in a game that, I, you know, I'm disappointed that we haven't finished the way we had. And, you know, a lot of people will be looking at this and, oh, well, we didn't do this. We did. Well, we did. We did. We executed. We had over 16 quality scoring opportunities tonight, and we didn't take them. And we gave up a terrible power play goal where Bayrat read it totally wrong. He knows. Held his hands up to that. We gave up a shorthanded goal. We didn't, you know, we had puck possession on the first goal, and, and we turned that over, and they come back and scored off of that. And, you know, and if you're going to be sloppy like that, you're going to, the best teams, and, you know, and Belfast are one of the best teams, they're going to they're gonna hurt you on it. On a positive note, I mean, yes, four goals in, but Peter Hirsch was solid again. I mean, it could have been, even though you outchanced him in that first period, he made a big save uh, off Toe. Toe had the first goal, but he made a big save off Toe later. It could have been maybe 2 or 3 nil after that first period. He was spectacular in the first 20. Well, I, th I, I thought, you know what, over the game, and I've just told Hershey this, you know, I thought Murphy outplayed him because I thought the first and the third period, it was solid. I thought he was fighting it in the second period. And, uh, you know, I thought he let in two, maybe three goals that I know Peter Hirsch will save. But you know what? Last couple of weeks haven't been his best game. He has been fighting it a little bit. We've got to draw a line in the sand here, Murph, because he has to be our best player. And goaltenders have to know that. You know, They, they know that. They live with that pressure. But, you know, it, it would help if we didn't give up a, a short-handed goal or a two-on-one or, or just a bad play to get his confidence up a little bit here. But he's been around the block. He's played at top levels we've just had a good meeting together and I've said now you've got to let it go forget the last two results we got to move forward and you've got to be the guy that leads us to the final four well good teams good coaches and certainly good players are able to sort of forget about those things and I just talked to Peter he said look we got Sheffield we got to be ready for those guys and that's the next thing that's important of course up the highway to Hull tomorrow but Sheffield Steelers are the next thing now and he's got to be the best guy in blue yeah yeah no he has he has to be our best player because you know what they got a squad that finished above us and, 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 and probably a little more talent level throughout. And that's, that's no disrespect to my team. That's the way we are. But, you know, we got to execute better. Murph, that, that's what's annoying. I mean, we came out in that first period. First shift, we had three or four great scoring chances. You yeah, know? it looked like Lee was going to go top shelf there. Murph made a good save. And, you know, we're, we're not overly blessed offensively. And, and, you know, we have to get our goals from hard work. So what we've got to do is make it hard for teams to score on us. And... And then you build your confidence from that. And, and, and we didn't do that tonight. But, yeah, bad second period lost us the hockey game tonight. And, uh, but, you know, we've got to get better. And, and, and th there shouldn't be a confidence problem here. Th there really shouldn't be a confidence problem. And we'll see how, you know, we're, we're working them pretty hard in practice. Over the last two weeks, we've implemented a lot of new stuff into their game. And they've had to, a lot of information to absorb over that time as we all try and try things. And tonight, we tried three or four things, you know, new new plays uh, and you know a couple came off so we got to look what what you know everybody's got a tweak everybody's got to have a wrinkle going into this because we know each other's games backwards so uh, hey 60 minutes of hockey next next Saturday here at the Sky Dome we've got to we've got to come away with a win quick update on Olsen he's gone for x-rays so 
Who knows? He Who made knows? one block shot that led to an assist, and then he made that block shot that made it the you know, end of his night. But on a positive note, Matty Soderstrom is going to be the head coach of the Coventry Blaze next season. He's been a warrior for this club, a great assistant coach, a great player. I mean, over 500 games in, in blue. Tell us a little bit about Matty and, and the decision to make him the head coach next season. Well, you know, we, you know, the club knew about my position a couple of months ago, and uh, we've, uh, you know, we spoke to a lot of agents with a with a lot of coaches. Uh, we've looked at 20, 30 CVs, and we keep coming back to Matty. And uh, you know, what people don't know is Matty's a steely kind of hard-nosed guy and you know he's going to come in here he's going to put his own tinge his own touch he's going to take what's good from what we've done and uh, you know if he's half as successful as I've been here he's going to be pretty all right isn't he but you know I mean and the majority of fans are right behind that you always get negativity in any club you know and, and but the players and the players we want to retain here wanted Matty and that's a key you know and they want to play for him and they respect him and uh you know, he'll come in here and he'll bring his own identity and his own feel. And, you know, he's going to be working hand in hand with me with the recruitment. And, and you know, he's got he's to put his two penny foot down of, of the type of player that, that he wants. You know, I have the experience of going out and getting that guy. But, you know, he has to understand what he needs. And we're going to be working over the next month or so. And hopefully releasing, you know, and signing a couple of the guys back that we feel have been an impact for us and a good and a good fit for us because we're not far away you know we're not far away well coach good luck in the playoffs against Sheffield good luck up the highway to Hull tomorrow but I just want to say it's been a pleasure working with you guys this year thanks for taking the time to answer my questions after before the game and uh, sometimes it must have felt like during the game but thanks for everything this season and good luck to you and of course to Matty next season anytime Murph. good Cheers. luck buddy